Hello and welcome to today's National Pandemic Update video for Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Take a look at the National CDC transmission map. 47.49% of the cases are high, 25.29% are substantial, 20.83% are moderate, 6.39% are low. The highest number of counties in high transmission are in the northeastern states. Today's variant proportion update is BA.5 is 67.9% of the cases, BA.4 is 12.2% of the cases, BQ.1 .1 is 57% of the cases, BQ.1 5.7, BF.7 5.3, BA.2.7 5.2 is 1.4, BA.2.75 is 1.3, and BA.4 is 0.6% of the cases. Taking a look at today's national cases, 71,000 cases were recorded today, 593 deaths added, 982,806 tested uh, have been conducted in the last 24 hours, or at least added to the total. Some of it is because of weekly reports, but hey, we'll take that. That's higher than normal. Currently in the hospital, 26,514 people, that's up by 90. Currently in the ICU, 3,148, that's down by 21. You can see the biggest rise is anywhere from Virginia, Great Lakes, on up into the Northeast. You're seeing the uh, largest number of states with rises, but there are other areas that are rising. Oregon, Nevada, Arizona's seeing a big rise, New Mexico, Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, Arkansas, Georgia. So you get the general idea. There are places that are rising rising and there are some places that are rising with deaths but not many places. California reported 18,150 cases today plus 204 deaths. This is a multi-day total and their deaths are actually up 7.4 percent. New York State today reported 4,676 cases. Illinois 5,925 that's a lot of cases from Illinois. Ohio, 11,097. That's a weekly total. New Jersey, 2,100. Virginia, 1,166. Massachusetts, weekly total, 8,377. Wisconsin, 1,282. Washington, 1,500. Minnesota, 4,765. Colorado, 1,736. Alabama, 502. Louisiana, 558. Maryland, 757. Arkansas, 361. Connecticut, 539. Oregon, 3,563. New Mexico, 451. West Virginia, 255. Idaho, 726. Rhode Island, 1,546. New Hampshire, 480. Delaware, 152. And Maine, 349. HHS hospitalizations. Today, the HHS dashboard shows 26,938 people in the hospital. Walgreens national positivity is at 26.5%. New York State, 4,676 cases today, 6.6% positivity. New York State hospitalizations today are at 2,819 and ICUs are at 295. ICUs have been continuing to rise in New York State. Texas state positivity is at 6.52% and Texas hospitalizations is at 1,088. All right, my notes for you today are to continue to wear your mask everywhere you go, not just because of coronavirus. Please stop associating mask with coronavirus. Mask can be used for any type of airborne respiratory virus. RSV is on the rise. Flu is on the rise. Colds are on the rise. There's a lot of illness going around right now. And with coronavirus, people who have been infected have weakened immune systems. So they're having a tougher time with these other viruses. RSV is a big problem. Children's hospitals are filling up across the country and it needs to be taken seriously. Yes, if if you can, yes, your child needs to mask as well, as well as adults. It's going to be a rough RSV season, and it's going to be a bad flu season. And I'm already hearing reports that there are co-infections of uh, coronavirus and flu going on at the same time. So this is not good. Alrighty, thanks for watching this video, and remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Stay safe.